everyone, my name is Anna Enderly and today I'm going to be showing you all how to run. Running may seem simple at first, but a lot goes into it, including how you prepare for your run, what to do during your run, and how to recover afterwards. I started running my freshman year of high school on the cross country team, and I find that running helps improve my mental health, keeps me in shape, and helps me connect with God. Running is one of my favorite things to do, and I really enjoy the team aspect on it on the cross country and track team as we compete not only for individual wins, but also for team championships. Today I will be demonstrating how to get ready for a run, what to do while you're running, and how to properly recover afterwards. The first things you're gonna to wanna to do, as I am demonstrating here, is get into proper running clothes. So I have on my running shoes, which you can get at a store such as Running For Kicks, and um, my running shirt and my shorts. It's important to have proper running shoes because if you don't have the right running shoes or if you've ran too many miles on them, you can get injured because of it, and of course you don't want that. The next step, once you're in your running clothes, is you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a handy dandy watch. I have a Garmin and you can press the start button and then press it twice and then wait for your GPS. So sometimes it takes a while to load, but once it loads, we'll hear a little ding. So we can wait for that. But while we wait for that, the next important thing we can do is leg swings and lunges, which is part of a mini warm up. So I'll demonstrate those now. So what you wanna do is go up against the wall. There's leaves on the ground, take those away, but you're gonna go up against the wall and put your hands on it and just swing your legs back and forth. And you do this in order to just stretch out your legs and make sure that you don't pull any muscles. And you do them this way, and then a few this way as well. And then the next thing I do are these things called hurdle drill extensions, where you kind of like bring your legs up and around. And I do these because otherwise my hips are really tight with them. There's that. And then next are lunges, which I'll put you on the ground to demonstrate. And lunges are just another thing to make sure that your legs are ready and not tight for your run. So you can do front lunges, back lunges, and then side lunges to make sure you get all areas. And here we are, still waiting for our GPS, but while we're waiting for it, I can tell you why we wait for our GPS and why we need to watch, so that when we have a route that we have, like, and we go on it, it tracks our mileage and our time and our pace, so then we know, like, how long it takes and we can get a map once we're done with it. And also, you need GPS because that's how the watch knows where you are. Last part before we go off on our run, last part of getting ready is to make sure you know your route because if you don't know where you're going, then you will get lost. So I normally run around my neighborhood, so I always know where I'm going. But if you don't know where you're going, I suggest taking a map and just making sure you know where you're going or just doing it out and back and remembering where you're coming from. So this is the fun part because this is the part where I have to sit here and wait for my GPS and look like an idiot, basically, just standing here in my alley, waiting for my GPS to load. So that's super fun. Hopefully it's gonna ding and give me my GPS soon. Okay, so once you have your GPS, you can start going on your jog. So how you can start your jog is you start by putting one foot in front of the other and kind of hopping a little bit and make sure you're pumping your arms like so. So, watch me demonstrate. Here's a race clip of me um, for a better demonstration. So when you're just starting out on your jog, you're gonna wanna keep it conversational. You don't really wanna be going an all out sprint because that's mostly what you do in your race. But just for your easy runs, you can keep it nice and easy and you can look at the pretty trees and the um, nice scenery and resist the urge to start walking. So yeah. All right, and so we just finished our loop and now we're back where we started. So, the most important thing once you get back from a run is to stay upright and keep walking. You're gonna be out of breath and you may wanna sit down right away, but it is very important to not sit down right away. Instead, you should keep walking, put your hands on your hips, and just try to catch your breath. Because if you go down and you sit down right away, then your legs will tighten up and it won't feel so good later and you're not gonna wanna get up. So, trust me, I have been there after races. I have collapsed. As soon as I cross the finish line, don't do that though, it's bad. 
This next step is optional, but whenever I come home from a run, I like to say hello to my bear. He just ran outside. Wow. So now you finished your run and the next important thing is recovery. So our coach always tells us to have a quick carb and to hydrate. So we can come over and get a nice cup of water to hydrate. And then depending on what I'm feeling, sometimes I'll have a little protein bar, but whatever it is, just make sure that you're getting in that fuel because the most important thing after you're done with your run is nutrition. Nutrition is going to help your body recover. It's going to heal your muscles and make up for any of the like hard work that you just put it through. The last thing that we do after runs is we do a thing called SAM, which stands for strength and mobility. Now I'm going to demonstrate a few of those things. So one of the things that we do is they're called clams and it's where you get on your side and you just like open your legs like this. These are called reverse clams and then reverse upside down clams. And then another one we do are called lateral leg raises, which is where you just lift it up like this. And these are good for strengthening the hips. And the main reason why we do the SAMs is for injury prevention. Another one that we do is called donkey kicks and donkey whips. So you get down like this and then you kick up your leg like that. Another one, a lot of this is for hip mobility. As you can see, hip mobility and strength, and these are donkey whips, where you do it back and forth. And then my last favorite activity that we do in the SAM is called a cat cow, and it's where you lift your back like that, like a cat, and then go down like a cow. And you repeat that a few times. And that one, I think, is for your back. I'm not sure why we do that one, actually, but it's fun, so. So now you know how to properly get ready for a run, what to do while you're running, and how to help your body recover afterwards. Running is a perfect way to de-stress after a long day at school and it is going to help keep you in shape as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and are able to use it in the future. Thank you.